Uh, hello everyone, I hope you are well. I just wanted to give a quick preview for the England uh, West Indies match uh, tomorrow early morning and the South Africa uh, USA match on now. And uh, South Africa off to a very good start 50 plus uh, in uh, five overs. Uh, Quinton de Kock looking good. Anyway, England West Indies tomorrow. I'm, I've already said a bit in that Indian uh, Afghanistan preview that I am backing uh, West Indies to win. I have said before my uh, the World Cup in my preview that uh, both West Indies and England are one of my favourites uh, to be in the semi-finals. The five teams that I said that uh, four semi-final spots will be played, all of them are in the soup race and look like uh, definitely four out of the five teams would make the semis. But I am definitely backing West Indies tomorrow because uh, they are looking very good and they have got a very balanced team uh, with a lot of power hitters, Andre Russell. Uh, obviously, Nicholas Poor and uh, uh, Shai, Shai Hope is uh, Shai Hope is a solid batsman. Uh, Chase is there. Brandon King is there, uh, and obviously uh, Roman Paul is also there, and uh, uh, the Ford uh, also there. And I'm very happy with their bowling. I mean, especially Akil Hussain, a left-arm uh, spinner who normally opens the bowling as well many times. And he has a very good, he's a very intelligent bowler and he's got a very good arm ball, uh, the faster ball that goes straight on with the arm. And it can be very effective against the English batsmen who have a big tendency to cross bat against the spinners. I had said this in the World Cup, uh, 20, uh, the 2050 over World Cup against uh, New Zealand and they did get out a couple of times LBW and bowled. And there is a big chance that England might repeat it as well. And uh, England's bowling is a problem. Adil Rashid is there, but their bowling, especially with Mark Wood, doesn't really look good in T20 format. In T20 format, and uh, their batting is uh, very dependent a lot, uh, dependent on uh, Josh Butler. And uh, I don't know. I've always uh, said about how I feel about Liam Livingston, which I think is a waste of time in the team. Uh, since that 50 over World Cup, I've never seen him play anything and I've never actually seen him uh, score runs and I don't know why he's in the team. Uh, and so England's bowling, Mark Wood uh, just bowling fast. I don't know if he's still playing, maybe uh, Topley will play. But West Indies are really looking powerful and they're playing with confidence and they're at home as well. They've got a very good balanced team and they're playing with uh, really a lot of uh, determination and confidence. And I just feel that West Indies are going to beat England, uh, except if Josh Butler has an excellent game or something <laughs> really miraculous happens. West Indies are definitely the favourites. Uh, and Akil Hussain against uh, the English uh, top order will be important. And uh, uh, the West Indian batsmen are also looking good. I mean, other than uh, Josh Butler, I mean, uh, uh, the, I mean, even they dropped Sam Curran and they play Liam, Liam Livingston, which doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, uh, Sam Curran is a solid bowler and a batsman that can score a lot of runs and an excellent field. I cannot imagine how England can drop Sam Curran and play uh, someone like Liam Livingston, which I've always called as a lottery who is never who never uh, plays or scores runs. And also, I have um, something about the tennis. Uh, there was a new world record that was uh, created yesterday well, when uh, the Canadian uh, player Milos uh, Raonic, uh, he, scored, he hit uh, 47 aces in a three-set match uh, at a Queen's Club tournament, which is a warm-up tournament uh, towards uh, Wimbledon. He was playing against uh, Cameron Norrie of uh, Great, uh, Great Britain, and it was a three-set match. Uh, and it was he hit a 47 aces, uh, which is a new world record for most aces hit in a three-set match. Uh, he broke uh, Ivo Karlovic's uh, record, the Croatian who had 45 aces before this. And Karlovic has uh, actually uh, hit uh, 45 aces twice uh, in a three-set match. So that was broken uh, yesterday, 47 aces. And uh, the obviously the the most aces in a tennis match in a five set match, but that was a very weird, strange match uh, between John Eisner and Nicholas Mahut uh, in the 2010 Wimbledon that went for more than 10 hours and that was played over three days. I think the final set was like 70, 68 games uh, that went on forever, and uh, John Eisner uh, had 113 aces, and I think Nicholas Mahut had almost uh, 103 or 105 aces as well. But that was not a normal match, obviously, uh, going 11 hours and 70, 68 games in the final set alone. So you, that cannot be counted. Um, so 47 aces uh, round is, is a new world record. 
I've uh, said uh, before, Philip Bosis, I've seen in a five set match against Agassi, 48 aces, uh, Johan, Johan, Johansson, 50 odd aces as well, but he lost the match. Uh, so, I mean, aces, uh, a lot of aces are big servers, and uh, Raonic has been a big server as well. And uh, he has been struggling with injuries, but that is a new world record. Anyway, uh, that is my uh, preview and just an update about the tennis uh, preview about uh, the England West Indies match. I'm definitely backing West Indies to win. And uh, tomorrow, obviously, evening, uh, it's India, Afghanistan, uh, and South Africa, USA match uh, on now. Uh, probably South Africa are going to win. Anyway, take care, everyone. Uh, God bless you.